Thinking of building a new home this year? Let's take a walk through the design process, season by season. Good design takes time. Well, time and patience. In a perfect world, I recommend taking 12 months to design your home. Not only does this allow you the time to make all the decisions that you're gonna be confronted with, but it also allows you to experience all the seasons of your life while you're thinking through the design process. I can't tell you the number of times that I get a call from a client saying things like, hey, I think we need to make the mudroom bigger now that I'm looking at this big pile of winter boots. Working through the design process raises your awareness on how you live in your home and what things might make it better. Rushing through this process usually results in regrets, missed opportunities, and poor decisions. So let's say you want to start building a new home in the spring. You should start interviewing architects in the spring the year before you actually want to start building. There will be contracts to work through once you've selected an architect, and you need to have a land survey completed for your property. Once contracts are in place and surveys have been done, the architect can start working on the site analysis. We will also have meetings to discuss your dream home, what your desires are for it, and what kind of spaces you want to have in your house. By June, you're going to start seeing bubble diagrams. These are the first sort of spatial diagrams of your new home. Sort of like looking from a space shuttle view of how your house and the rooms are going to fit on your site. Of course, this is going to take time for you to review before we're able to move on. Summer is spent developing the bubble diagrams into actual floor plans. This is sort of coming from that space shuttle view to more of a bird's eye view. By the end of summer, we should also have exterior design sketches, which brings us to a complete concept. Back to school means back to work for the architect. For this time, I continue to develop the design into a computer model. This also begins looking at the finer details of the design. We are now walking through the house, not just looking at it from a bird's eye view. You also start to shop for appliances, cabinets, and other finishes. Not that you're going to be finalizing these selections, but it helps to start getting familiar with what's available and working through the plethora of decisions that you're going to have to make for the construction of this project. It's also a good time to start shopping for your builder. Most builders are starting to fill up their spring schedule and you don't want to miss out on the opportunity for the right builder for you. Didn't we make a video about that? This culminates with the drawings used for preliminary pricing by late fall. These go to the builder or builders that you've selected to provide preliminary estimates. Typically, it takes six to eight weeks for builders and trades to be able to get prices back to you. January is a great time to do this because a lot of the builders and trades are looking for things to do and are more likely to answer the phone. There's one caveat here. If you're going for bank financing, you can add another three to six months into the process. While most of the banks are going to tell you, oh, you're pre-approved, it'll go fast. Let's be honest, that's not usually the reality. So once you have your pricing back, there's usually some design changes to be made as well. We pick up those changes and begin working on the construction drawings. We're well into winter by this point, and I'm working through the technical aspects of the construction drawings. This usually takes four to six weeks. Once I have the drawings completed, they can go to the builder so he can make application for a permit. Remember, you can't start construction or moving dirt on your property until you have your permits approved. That process usually takes about two to four weeks, and this brings us to about April. As you can see, it takes almost a full year from those initial interviews with an architect to breaking ground on your new home. Can this be done faster? Yes, but it means rush decisions and usually some regrets. That's the point of this episode. I want you to have an understanding of what it takes to work through the design process so that you can have fun with the process. Unless you're not into fun and you're more into torture. And if that's the case, I might suggest having twins. So this is the design process that I've found to be successful. Some architects have slightly different processes. Some are longer, some are shorter. You'll even find some home designers will have one meeting with you and provide a final design at the next meeting. I'm not exactly sure how custom that can be though. Remember, this is your dream home. That 12 months in the design process means a lifetime of enjoyment in your new home. And good design takes time 
and patience. These are my design notes. But it means rush decisions and likely some regrets. <laughs> Take two.